Big up everybody, it's your girl Sophia, aka Sophie, back here on Sophia's Football Talk to talk about a little bit of some women's football talk and potentially Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as he did decline the uh, open free new job as the new coach manager of the Norway's women's national team. Um, he mentioned that in a close type of, um, I should say, like an um, event here in uh, a city called Ålesund here in Norway. Uh, and he mentioned that, yeah, yeah, the Norwegian Football Federation did contact me to ask me if I was interested. Well, right now, I'm not really ready to step into any job right now. Uh, we'll deep dive into that. But before we do, make sure that you, of course, give this video here a big thumbs up and as well subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are on the road to 3K subscribers. So let's make that happen, shall we? But yeah, let's go. So we all know Ulrika Sosha was sacked as the uh, Norway, not Norway, but the Man United <laughs> uh, manager uh, back in, what was it? 2020, literally a year ago now, right? Here we are. Or it was actually more than that, to be honest. Time has really flown by, and then Ragni was his interim manager after that. Either way, Orgel Sosha really hasn't had like a, like a job since. He's been maybe managing um, the team for one of his kids. I believe it's at Viking, uh, under 16 team, where he's been a, a coach there. But hasn't really had like a top job either way as, as a manager since he's been enjoying his life. The guy is what 50 years old this year, enjoying life at this point, you know. Um, Norway women's team did have um Hegerise as their coach then, who was appointed a year ago after um, the former manager had a very not so good <laughs> uh Euro Cup back then when we got trashed by the English team 8-0. I think that was an historic win uh, or a big result, I should say. And since then, we had Eike Hegerise, who used to actually uh, be a player for the women's national team, won the World Cup as a, as a player, also scored one of the goals when we won 2-0 against Germany uh, back in 1995 to become world champions. And you were thinking, maybe, maybe, could we maybe see some glory days under her for the women's team? No, didn't happen, sadly. Had a very underwhelming um, World Cup with it also being off the field issued with one of our big stars, Karolina Graham Hansen, coming out speaking up against the staff then, the coaching staff feeling stepped on for years, even though she apologized for her comments in the uh, press conference then, or I should say in the interviews. Either way, it hasn't really gone on in the best way. Um, and since then, Hagedi has decided to step down uh, September 1st. And we have Light uh, Gunnar Smeru who is now the interim manager, just on an interim basis, right? Temporary. Right now, we're trying to figure out who's now going to be the permanent manager of the women's team. One of the candidates, obviously, as we heard recently reported, has been Ulrich and also Chad, who admitted that he was contacted by the Norwegian Football Federation. But in a respectful way, he said, you know what? I am not really ready for that just yet at all. Um, there's been others that are that we are also interested in, but he's definitely has been one of the candidates. Um, he had said, and there's been other quotes saying that, you know, if he's going to go back or if, you know, at this point, this job is not necessarily um, what he's looking at. But it's not per se to say that it wouldn't be more current at a later stage. Um, but he wants to at least be able to get another job in the men's team before he then goes into getting like the big job for the women's team 
to become a new manager then. For me personally, I think it's the right decision for him to be like, you know what? At this stage, I don't think this will be the best opportunity or the best decision for me to make to become the new manager, okay? I want to just relax a little bit. And then once I dip my feet back into become a coach and a manager again, then that that would be me doing something else, you know? Because it's still a big job, you know? We haven't figured it out with the Norwegian women's team just yet. It's been the last 10, 15 years have been quite underwhelming when it comes to the performances, uh, become when, when it comes to the results as well, with the expectations that we do have. Uh, the same also goes for the men's team as well. So I completely get it with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I don't think it would be the best decision for him to become the new manager, if I'm going to be very honest. We all know how he ended at the end when he got the big job to become Man United's manager. Not that I'm going to be comparing being a manager of Man United to being a manager of Norwegian national women's team. Not just even the men's team. Like, even the men's team, they're not comparable at all. Okay, by any means. But I do think that it would have been, um, yeah, maybe a little bit of a, of a job at this point. Um, maybe try to learn off of other coaches, other managers in and around or amongst Europe, I should say, or even outside of it. Take, take your time. You're still like, in, when it comes to like the managerial years, you're still very young. You're 50. That's technically still very young, in a way. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to figure it out. But we'll have to see what Norway do. Who will end up choosing at the end of it. But we have to maybe find somebody that has maybe a way more merit to go off of, okay? That's what I think we should do. But a different approach needs to happen 100%. Because what we've been doing now hasn't worked but I do want to hear your points as well. What are your thinking, your thoughts? Would Ole Gunnar Solskjaer have been a good manager? Is it maybe the best thing for him to, to decline, to say, no, I'm not ready? What would be his next managerial job? What would be the best for him to do? Maybe he shouldn't be a manager at all. I don't know. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Make sure you, of course, give this video a big thumbs up. And as well, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, see you guys in the next stream tomorrow. Big up. Bye-bye.